it's almost time to go back to school across Kelloland. While there are new problems facing faculty, students, and parents this year over how things will go in the classroom, you might also find yourself facing a problem outside the classroom. That is making sure that as a parent, you look semi pulled together in the morning drop off line. Personal branding strategist with Image Power Play, Sheila Anderson, is joining us today to give us a few foolproof ways to look your best. This is something I think every mom and I identify with a lot because we're getting our kids out the door. It's a crazy, crazy time. And a lot of us are getting out of the cars at the drop off line and seeing maybe even friends we haven't seen for a long time. So why is it important to, you know, get a little bit put together for that morning drop off line? Well, what you wear and what you put on for the day affects your mood, it affects your mindset and ultimately affects your money. So let's talk about your mood and mindset. You know, what you put on often affects like, okay, I feel, you know, I feel really good in what I'm wearing. I feel energized. Um, and your mindset, like if you're already, if you're put together for the day, you're going to feel put together and you're going to feel um, maybe more motivated throughout the day to get different things done. So, so. I might think like, oh, it's just the drop off line. Sure. It doesn't matter if yeah. I am put together. But what you're saying is, even if it might not matter that much to me, it might really set my tone for mm -hmm. the day and my mental tone and, and where I'm going to go with that. I'm going to have a better day. Right. And then kids will mimic you. Right, they, they pay attention to what their parents wear. So if you want your kids to, you know, be put together and have some discipline and, and professionalism for at school, you can kind you of know, set the tone there. Yeah, you have to. They they can mimic you. Okay, I I don't yeah. watch me in the pickup in the drop off line actually <laughs> because I I often don't. I can't find even two shoes to wear sometimes. <laughs> but this is a this is good advice to follow. And you have some ways maybe that even I can pull this together and still sure. show up to school looking semi put together. Right. So if kids, you know, hopefully you have picked out outfits that they're going to wear maybe the next day, but pick out your outfit the next day or have your outfits picked out for the rest of the week. And a quick way to do accessories, if you can get them on, I know you're running out the door super fast. If you can get them on, a great way is to put your earrings and a necklace just in a little Ziploc baggie and have it ready to go. That's a great tip. Throw it, it in my purse even yep. on the way out the door and put it on a yeah. when I get somewhere or when I'm And stopped. a quick makeup routine, right? I don't expect you to be dressed to the nines and have full makeup on when you, maybe sometimes you just can't even barely get out the door. But have, you know, put a lip gloss on, put, um, you know, mask, I say mascara, a little blush and lip gloss. Whatever kind of makes you feel good. Yeah. And you've got yeah. some tips too. You've put together a few different sort of style plans that can mm -hmm. maybe help us as we, like you said, plan out our yeah. outfits for the week and maybe have something that's comfortable and easy to do, but works for both maybe this working at home environment sure. or dropping off your kids and being out mm -hmm. and about. What did you, what, let's walk through the first one. Okay. So w when you put yourself together, um, you can still wear mom jeans or mom pants, what I call them. You can put joggers on, that's fine, but just up level it a little bit. You can just add a cardigan or you can add the little, great little denim jacket, which I love. Scarves, scarves are a great way to add a quick color. And then jumpsuits, that's a one and done outfit. I love a jumpsuit. And it's super, yeah, super fun, super casual. I like that. I like adding a scarf or just a statement like jewelry too because it does take right. it up like next level even if it's yeah. not really that, like, yeah. I didn't put that much thought into my yeah. jumpsuit, but I can add something to it. The third piece, I call it, remember to put the third piece. So whatever that third piece is, whether it's a scarf or a jacket or a cardigan, up levels your outfit no matter what. Again, here is, there's a pair of jeans on that, that tan or taupey color pair of jeans over there. You don't have to just have denim jeans. You can have fun colored jeans and that great military jacket. I love that. Or like again, a denim jacket. And there's just a t-shirt dress. T-shirt dress is Super are the best. fun. You know, it's it's put together. You look great, easy. Yes. Not super. trying too hard in no. the drop-off line. No. Again, you don't have to be totally dressed up in heels, and um, but pay attention to where you're going afterwards. If you're going to the gym, mm -hmm. or if you're, you know, what if you run into a friend and says, "Hey, let's run for coffee." You would want to be a little bit put together to be able to run to coffee. Or yeah. if you're coming back home, and you're working from home and jumping on a Zoom call. One of my favorite outfits is a dress over leggings, and that's what I wore today, just to kind of show you that. I think it's so fun. I think it's super cute, easy to do. Now, it, could you wear like an athletic legging under a dress too, mm -hmm. or does it need to be specifically for a dress? Like, 
No, you could do an athletic legging. So yeah, kind of like transition athletic. throughout yeah. your day and be ready for the next thing and have yeah. kind of all those different pieces together. Yeah. We're all trying to do so much at one time right now right. that having something that transfers easily seems mm -hmm. to make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I like okay. that. What do you like about the legging and the dress combo the best? I think, well, I think it's comfortable. I think it is, um, it takes a, maybe a really nice dress and maybe um, makes it a little bit more chic or a little bit more fun, maybe a little bit more laid back. Uh, I, I like that. Um, yeah, I think it's a it's, really good look. I always feel especially a little for bit... fall because then you're not having to like if your legs are a little cold, mm -hmm. then you have a little bit of a legging on, but it's not tights or a nylon or, or something. It's a little as, bit more chic. I think. As, as we head into fall, especially, it's like yeah. some of those dresses are still those summer dresses still work really well, but mm -hmm. it's a little chilly in the morning sometimes. Right. So you right. could pull that legging on and then maybe even ditch it halfway through the day if it turns exactly. out to be nice. Exactly. Exactly. So if you were going to the office afterwards, you could me, slip that legging off if you wanted to, or if you had a business meeting. Um, I like so that. Like, and you know, if you're lifting kids in and out of the car and you have a dress on, yeah. You have to pay attention to a little bit how, you know, the length of that dress. Right. You know, and if you're hauling stuff and, and so. Well, I'm always just yeah. so, I'm, I mean, jealous in a nice way of all the moms that look so put together in the line. Mm -hmm. So now maybe I have, that's some good tips. And I'm, yeah. what, the things you were telling me, I liked it a lot because when you were telling me some of these tips, I could think of moms I know in the sure. drop off line, like, oh, that's definitely what they're doing. Right. That's great. So and I'm going to level some, up my game. Right. And sometimes they only see you just in the car. Maybe you don't get out of the car. And so maybe you have a cute little hat on, have an earring on, because they're going to see that. And or, my pajama shorts. Uh, you can, right? <laughs> if you're not going to get out of the car, I give you permission. <laughs> as long as I'm not going to get out of the car, that's maybe, the key. Right. It's like, what are you wearing from here on? And then but. if I'm doing a coffee date, it's only the drive up too, right? we got to keep that in mind. So yeah. thank you so much for coming in today. I'm ready to tackle the school year. Thanks for having me. Enjoyed it.